Hi everyone, so as you are aware, I'm doing this series which is looking at holding on to people for the wrong reasons and I've just gone live over on my Facebook page, Marianne Hansen Counselling Service, so you can check out the live stream version because sometimes I'll do a video on here or I'll do a video on my Facebook and it can be slightly different but usually I try to keep it like similar. And this is episode four. So if you've been able to catch the other episodes, then one of them was talking about holding on to someone because of family pressure or because you feel you've got to prove something. One of the episodes is holding on to someone because you feel you won't get anyone else. Another episode is holding on to someone because you don't want them to be with anyone else, but you don't want them either. And episode four is talking about holding on to someone because you've been together with them for so long. So if you want to check out other videos which are linking with this topic, there's a video I made which is talking about fighting for your relationship. There's videos on here that talk about when is the right time to leave, when is the right time to withdraw your investment from a relationship and things similar to that. So this is really common. This is probably out of all the things I've talked about, this is probably the, one of the most common reasons that people stay in a relationship. And that is because there's a sense of if you've been together with someone for a long time, so it could be that you were childhood sweethearts, it could be that you've been married for, you know, over 30 years, 20 years, or you could just be that couple that everyone aspires to be, or, you know, everyone's always known you've been together. It can be really difficult to be rational and to sit down and say, Do you know what, this isn't working, but what's the point, what's next? You know, there's a genuine fear for some people to actually move on and to separate from someone they've been with for a long time because it's an emotional detachment that you have to make. So you have to detach emotionally and say, I'm no longer going to be part of this couple. I'm no longer going to be in this person's life. I'm no longer, who am I? You know, who am I without this person? But then there's also the physical side of things, whether it's, having to sort all the arrangements out, where you're going to live, whether you're going to sell the house and all sorts of things. So it can be really difficult and it can be the reason why sometimes people just say, well, what's the point? There are people that get to a certain point in their life, a certain age, and they'll say, well, what's the point in me moving on now? What is the point of me trying to find a new relationship or being by myself? I've been with this person so long, I might as well stay. So when you've put time and effort and energy into investing in someone. The idea of giving them up can be really painful. And that's why sometimes you have to acknowledge that first. You have to say, I know that this is gonna be hard for me. But then you also have to turn around and think, but is it wasting my time? Is it wasting their time for us to just keep plodding along when we're not happy? If, you, if there's no intimacy, you barely talk to each other, you only really look like you're together when you're around um, in public or around other people. There's a bad atmosphere in the household when you're there. You feel like roommates, you feel like, you know, there's just nothing left. Then is it really worth continuing to just live like that just because of the fact you might have been together for 20 years? You know, is it worth trying to maybe think about your happiness for once, thinking about their happiness? You know, by saying that if we go our separate ways, at least we can now be happy for the rest of our lives. So it's always worth considering. The other thing to do is to just reframe something, reframe things. You know, if you've spent so many years unhappy, isn't it worth investing in your own happiness? You haven't lost anything. And it's okay to let someone go and to say that, you know, this is going to hurt, but I'm still going to do it anyway. You know? It's about sometimes thinking to yourself, well, I'm still going to have the memories. And I was talking about this on the live stream. There are people I've dated in 2010, <laughs> 2012, um, years back. And sometimes my Facebook me um, memories come up and it will have a picture of that person and it will have, I don't know, maybe a date or a night out I went on. And the picture still you know, stirs up a memory. It's like, yeah, that was a good night out. And I remember we were looking good there. Or I remember what happened. Those memories don't disappear just because you're not with someone. And sometimes you just have to say that to yourself, that I've still got the memories. I still 
had a really good relationship. We still had a good run. And I think sometimes people feel that they've lost or that they've failed if they say we're going to separate. But the other option is, if you're not ready to go down that route, the other option is to consider couples counselling and think to yourself, is this an option? In some cases, it's not an option. Say that you are two people that you're just in a dysfunctional relationship, and I'm not talking about abuse or anything like that. Maybe there's cheating on both ends. Maybe there's just no respect. Maybe, you know, it's become to the point where you're just labelling each other's food in the fridge, you know, and sleeping in separate beds and doing your own, living your own lifestyle, but you're just putting on this front of, yeah, we're a couple, but we're not operating like one. Maybe couples counselling isn't going to fix that. You know, maybe deep down everyone's told you, but you also know yourself that this isn't working and that it's time to walk away but a part of you still has hope. And that is fine, it's fine to acknowledge that and it's fine to say that. So the next step then has to be, well, what, can, what will change or what can change and what is possible, is change possible? Am I willing to sort of just stay like this for the rest of my life with this person if their behavior has been the same for 10 years? If nothing's changed for the last 15 years, is, is it realistic to say that it will? You know, it's all these things to consider and the final thing is just to remember you're never stuck. You're never stuck in any situation. People can feel like they are, but when it comes to relationships, you're never stuck. Because whatever decision you choose to make, whether it's to stay, whether it's choose to be in the relationship but to cheat, whether it's choose to be in the relationship um, and to just live a separate life, whether it's a choice to be in that relationship and keep fighting, and fighting in terms of fighting for the relationship whether it's true to be in that relationship and accept that you're not going to get the treatment or the needs that you want there's always a choice to be made and for me and I've always said this in all of my videos my happiness and my the three things that are important to me are my um, mental well-being so I won't do anything that will cause an issue with that my freedom so I'm not going to break the law because I just it's nothing to do with anything being on my record it's more of I'm not don't want to be in a position where someone can tell me when I need to go to the toilet, someone can lock me in a cell. You know, I'm not going to put myself in that position. And the third thing is my happiness. So if I'm in a situation where a relationship is making me unhappy, or a family member's making me unhappy, or a situation, or a job is making me unhappy, then I'm not going to sacrifice that because it's not worth it. So have a think about if you're, been, if you're in a relationship and you've been in that relationship for a long time, but you know it's not working, you know you're unhappy, you know you would prefer to be somewhere else, but something is stopping you, then think about what is keeping you there. And as I've said, there's different videos that I've got that might be of um, use, and I will do the two more episodes for this series. So there's one tomorrow and one on Saturday. And feel free to watch all of them, feel free to share, to leave your comments and consider subscribing to my channel. I want to um, say thank you to all of my subscribers and for people who don't subscribe but they still watch the videos and leave a comment. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.